Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Stake. It's that time of the week where I go over my NFL predictions for the week. So let's get started with Thursday night's football game between the Broncos and the Chiefs. Chiefs 10 and a half point favorites. The Chiefs star tight end Travis Kelsey has a high ankle sprain, um, so he could be potentially limited for this game or just end up missing like he did it back in week one. Um, the difference this time though is that if he ends up not being a big factor, I hope he is because he's on my fantasy team, but if he's not a big factor, the Chiefs' offense should be just fine against a horrible Denver defense. I'm not sure if the Chiefs covered the, the spread since they are not great as big favorites in both games against Denver, who was bad last year, went to the wire. But I got the Chiefs to win this one to remain atop of the AFC. I have them winning 27-19. to 19. Ravens versus Titans. Uh, Ravens are four-point favorites. Um, this game, I think, is in Germany, I believe. Um, I know the Ravens looked horrible last week. Um, the Titans also looked better with star wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins back in the lineup. It wouldn't shock me if they win this game. However, I think the Ravens will win, and here's why. Usually when good teams get embarrassed, and offensively the Ravens were embarrassed last week, they bounce back. Also, the Ravens' defense, to my surprise this year, has been playing very well all season. And I think the defense makes a key play here or there to win this game. So I have Baltimore winning 20-14. to 14. Commanders versus Falcons. Falcons do have point favorites. If you're a Falcons fan, you're feeling a lot better than you did after your trip to London. The Falcons got a big home win against a hot Texans team, and now they got one of the worst pass defenses in the league coming to their building. If quarterback Desmitter can't play well in this game, then the concerns about him resurface. I think Washington on offense will bounce back this game after their bad performance against Chicago last week. So I expect more of a high score game this time. Um, but the Falcons, once again, I feel like we'll find a way to survive after winning 28-27. to 27. Seahawks versus Bengals. Bengals 2.5 point favorites. This is the game that will determine if Cincinnati is truly back in the playoff hunt. Seattle is coming off a bye and has won three straight. They will run the ball a lot since that's not only what they like to do, but Cincinnati's run defense is not good. So can the Bengals put up enough points against an opportunistic Seattle defense? I will buy into what I saw for the Bengals last week and say they will put up enough points to win this game and keep um, their season going up. Cincinnati winning 20 to 17. Colts versus Jaguars. Jaguars four point favorites. The Colts back in week one had Jacksonville on the ropes before the Jaguars were able to pull away late for the win. Um, I do think if quarterback Anthony Richardson were playing this game, I'd be more tempted to pick the Colts for the upset. I know Gardner Minshew has played well in relief for Richardson, but with the way the Jags have been looking the past two weeks, I think they bring that momentum home from London. I think they make clutch plays once again to get away and take control of the division lead by getting the tiebreak over the Colts here. I have Jacksonville winning 23-16. to Panthers versus Dolphins. There's not much to say about this game. The Dolphins win big and cover when 38-17. Vikings versus Bears. Vikings two and a half point favorites. This game's hard to predict. With the way the Bears played last week and the fact that star wide receiver Justin Jefferson is out on IR for the Vikings and this game is in Chicago, the logical side of me says the Bears get their second straight win. However, my gut feeling tells me the Vikings still get the win here. I doubt they continue to get unlucky in one possession games this season, which this game will be one possession game. Um, I have Minnesota winning 24-23. to 23. 49ers versus Browns, 49ers 7-point favorites. With the way the 49ers have been looking, it's hard to see most teams having a good chance to beat them. This includes the Browns since it appears quarterback Deshaun Watson will remain out this game and P.J. Walker, who they just signed to the team recently, will be making the start. The 49ers continue to win easily. I've been winning 24-7. to Saints versus Texans. Saints won half point favorites. I know the Saints scored 34 points last week, but some of those were directly because of the defense. Not like the offense exploded there, per se. I still want to see that from the Saints' offense. Can because they have the capability to explode, but we just haven't seen a lot from them. Can they finally do that is the question. I get some pretty solid Texas defense. Um, I think in I think in this game, I feel like the Saints will finally get some explosive plays on offense going. And that will be the difference in the game. And, then, and as far as the Saints defense versus the Houston offense goes, this would be probably the best defense C.J. Stroud has played all season so far. And I think Stroud might actually finally get his first interception this season. Who knows, but I think... Um, with the way the Saints defense play, I feel like Stroud will be able to contain enough to where the Saints can get the win. I have the Saints winning 20-13. to 13. Patriots versus Raiders. Raiders three-point favorites. This is a low, I mean, it's not a good team. It's a low-key interesting matchup here. Vegas head coach Josh McDaniels got the better of his former boss, Bill Belichick, in last year's matchup, although that was that crazy play 
uh, by the defense. But I think in this game, um, I think the Patriots actually do score a touchdown since they haven't in the past two weeks, believe it or not, and make this game interesting. However, with Vegas quarterback Jimmy Grapple knowing how to play against the Patriots' defensive schemes um, from his time back in New England with the defensive injuries that the Patriots have, I think the Raiders once again sneak out a win at home. I have the winning 20-17. to Lions versus Buccaneers. Um, Lions 3.5 point favorites. If the Buccaneers win this game, then I will finally be sold into the Buccaneers to actually have a legit chance to win in the division. As of right now, I'm still not sold. The Lions have been on fire the past few weeks, and I think the Lions will be able to be efficient on offense. Then the question becomes, can quarterback Baker Mayfield against a good pass rush, which the Lions have, get the job done? I do think it's a close game in the end, but the Lions prevail to win 23-17. to Cardinals versus Rams. Rams 7-point favorites. I know the Cardinals have been competitive so far in most of their games. However, I think that may be coming to a close soon. Arizona running back James Conner is out in IR, which is huge since they love to run the ball. He's one of their better players. Teams are starting to figure out Joshua Dobbs to a degree, and the Arizona defense is now struggling. So with the weapons the Rams have on offense, I think they can easily outscore the Cardinals to get the win. I'm the winning 31-17. Eagles versus Jets. Eagles 7.5 point fairs. This is a big game for the Jets offense. The Jets defense, I feel, will struggle this game. The, the Jets, because the Jets defense has struggled against mobile quarterbacks recently, so I feel quarterback Jalen Hurts will have a big day using his legs. Since the Jets defense can't hold them to a low amount of points like they were long, like the 14 or whatever, um, can Zach Wilson do what he did against the Chiefs if this turns into a shootout? The Eagles' pass defense is not good. You know, so this all depends on the Jets' offensive line, which has a bunch of injuries. Elijah Vera Tucker's out for the season now, backed in, uh, is a little hurt. Um, there's going to be shuffling on the line, so it's, it's going to look weird. But um, if the Eagles' pass rush can get home in this game, which they're good, it's going to get ugly real fast. If the offensive line can hold up, then I think Wilson will continue his recent success. Um, odds are the offensive line won't be able to hold up, which means the Jets won't be able to outscore them to win this game. I have Philly winning 24-16. to 16. Giants versus Bills. Bills 14 point favorites. I know the Bills have some... Key defensive injuries, that does matter, but in this game, I don't think it will matter. Like I said, for Miami, the Bills will win easily at home. I have Buffalo winning 38-13. Lame as a Sunday football game, but oh well. And a Monday night football game to the Cowboys and Chargers. Cowboys didn't have point favorites. This is a big game for the Cowboys. Their schedule is not going to get easier after this, so if they fall here, a losing streak may begin for this team, which, is, is, which would be crazy considering how much hype um, they came in with. The Chargers offense going to kill him more wants to get revenge since he got booted out by Cowboys coach Kev Mike McCarthy. Also, the Chargers are coming off a bye, so I feel they'll be prepared for this game. The Chargers also get a star running back Austin Eckler back, which is huge. However, with the way the Chargers head coach Brandon Staley makes so many questionable decisions that should cost the, the team games, I feel that will finally come home to roost in this game as the Chargers blow a game that they should have won to breathe life back into Dallas. I have Dallas winning 27-24. So thank you very much for listening to my podcast today. Please subscribe to my channel to about me. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day.